I'm Scott Davis, CTO of End User Computing at VMware, and I'm here today speaking with Peter McKay, who's the CEO of a partner of ours, Destone. Destone and VMware are addressing the market for what's called DAS, or Desktop as a Service, being able to uh, offer up uh, Windows desktops as a service from the public cloud. So uh, thanks for joining me today, oh, Peter. It's good to be here. Thank you. So what's driving this move towards uh, delivering uh, desktops to the, from the public cloud? Well, you know, Desktop, Desktone has been in this uh, desktop as a service for about six years now. And I really believe that now a lot of companies have gone and deployed Desktop as a service within their on-premise data center. And what people are finding is their, the need for them to leverage kind of other, other uh, hosted providers outside of their own infrastructure where they can have expertise, scale, resources that are available that, that may not be available within their own organization. Organization. And so when we see companies like Dell, a mutual partner of ours, leverage their infrastructure, their cloud platform, they can do it in a much more scalable way, leveraging the services and expertise that they have on the desktop side that they've had for 20 years, and bring that to companies of all sizes at a much more cost-effective and a scalable way. And so when you look at that movement in the market, that's what's, uh, you know, I think up to this point, historically, has kind of slowed down the market a little bit, the complexity and the cost is associated with desktop as a service. Is this primarily then because in order to offload management costs that managing PCs and providing PC services, while that's been a necessary component of uh, enterprises and corporate uh, wor corporations worldwide for years, it's really something that doesn't really help the business's bottom line, so they'd rather outsource that? Yeah, well I think there's, it's not core. Right, and a lot of companies they're in the manufacturing or financial or or other markets, and running uh, data centers and, and r running cloud or uh, infrastructures is really not their core competency. And companies like Dell or Navisite or or Fujitsu and others is what they do for a living. So, Peter, are there specific verticals uh, that are interested in desktop as a service more prevalently than others? I, I don't know if it's so much verticals that we see because we have a lot of a lot of companies that go to our partners that are in the financial services, manufacturing, retail um, verticals. What we're finding is more it's use case driven. Which specific use cases? So education you mentioned, is that a strong driver? It is. In the education world, just labs and, and classes and the, and the bursting of student population on a, on a in a semester and down, the, the ability to really leverage a cloud infrastructure and that's really what we provide, desktops in a cloud. So if you think of the the, the, the scaling up and scaling down of a university mm -hmm. or you know summer interns or where companies need that cloud bursting of desktops that's a perfect use case for uh, desktops in a cloud from a, a desktop provider yeah so frequent dynamic desktops seems to be one of the aspects here that would be uh, with rapid turnover seems to be one of the really strong drivers it, it is what we've mm -hmm. tried to focus on is very fast up, I want to get I want to try it I want to to buy it, I want to scale it very quickly is, is, a, is a driver. The speed element of the burst ability up and down is a major driver for, for why companies go to our partners. Now, uh, tell me, there's been some uh, myths out there that uh, Microsoft licensing is a huge impediment to uh, DAS deployments. Uh, how are you addressing that? How are your customers and service providers addressing that? Would you like to comment on that aspect of the market? No. I wouldn't. No, I will. Uh, it is. Uh, it, yeah, it's probably one of those biggest myths in the in the market that because of the licensing, it's really precluding people from adapting or outsourcing desktop as a service. And and really, what what a, the, a big part of that whole of the whole Microsoft tax, so to speak, is around dedicated infrastructure. And so what we find with service providers is, yes, you need a dedicated infrastructure for customers, uh, for each customer, but in the overall cost of a desktop as a service model, the compute, the, ser the servers are really the smallest part of the cost of, uh, of offering the service. Most companies that have scale, uh, that's really a non-issue, non uh, especially large companies. If it does become a tax for maybe smaller companies where, mm -hmm. where the the, the 20 and 30 seats becomes a little bit higher, but for the most part, what we found the more sophisticated service providers realize that the Microsoft 
challenges aren't really significant challenges after all. Okay. So with your with your offering now in View Agent Connect, we're able to offer uh, desktop as a service through all View clients, both uh, hardware based clients, thin clients, soft clients, and deliver that rich View experience from the vSphere's platform hosted on the desktop. Uh, yeah, using the Desktone technology. Correct? Available and ready to go. Great. Well, uh, it's been great talking with you today, and I look Excellent. forward to a great partnership. Same here. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, Peter.